Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Nothing like editing a Halloween themed video on Halloween. <laughs> I wanted to use some of the doodle bug goodies that I got, so I decided to combine them with the Simon Says Stamp Boahaha stamp set that I used in a earlier video in this series. I was looking at the set and I was like, these would look really cute if I stamp some of these images with ink colors that go with the Doodlebug line. So of course I pulled out Hot Mama Simon Dye Ink because that is the perfect shade. It's like a purpley pink. So I stamped the Haunted House from the Boahaha set with the Hot Mama ink onto some smooth white cardstock that I die cut with one of Simon's um, basic rectangle wafer dies. And I also stamped the moon image with Clementine ink. So once I had that stamped, that's kind of like creating my little background for my scene. And then I actually shockingly pulled out <laughs> the um, pumpkin town. Is that what they are? Pumpkin party. The pumpkin party mini icons. These are little stickers, which I hoard. I never use them, but I thought they would look really cute to kind of dress out. And they were like the right size to go with that haunted house stamp. Like it just, things were kind of working. So I did, I used the stickers and I made two cards <laughs> with tons left over. So I'll have tons for, you know, the envelopes and for, um, other projects, etc. So some of the stickers I stuck flat to these um, backgrounds I had stamped, like the tree and there's this little fence image, etc. And then for my little main images, I didn't want to stick them right down. So I used my anti-static powder tool just to take the sticky away. And then I'm going to pop it up with little foam tape. Now you don't need to do that step with the anti-static powder tool. You could just stick the foam tape to it. I just find it's easier to kind of handle when they're not sticking to everything when I'm trying to get the, you know, foam tape on, etc. So I use two of the little characters from this pack. I've got my little um, werewolf dressed up and then I use the little zombie one dressed up and I'm going to adhere them to each of these little scenes here. And both of them I'm going to pop up with just little 3D foam squares just because it's cute. So um, if you want to keep your card really flat, you don't have to, you know, do this extra step, but I just adding that bit of dimension just gives it a little extra something. So once I've got my little characters kind of popped on here, all the other little stickers added to create my little scene, I'm going to mat both of these panels with some Simon Says Stamp green apple cardstock that I cut to just slightly larger than the white cardstock. So it just gives it that little bit of a frame. And then I also cut into some of the um, pumpkin... Uh, party pattern paper. I know, shocker. I cut down two pieces to be slightly smaller than an A2 card. My card bases are Simon's pre-scored A2 top folding cards here. So I have uh, both these pattern paper panels cut to roughly, it was like f an eighth of an inch smaller than um, four and a quarter by five and a half. And both of those I adhered directly to the card base with my little Xyron uh, tape runner. And then off camera, I had white heat embossed sentiments from the Boahaha stamp set onto some black cardstock. And then I die cut them with the smallest of the Simon Says Stamp sentiment label wafer dies. And then trim those down with my paper trimmer. And I'm going to pop these up with those same little foam squares just to, again, give it a little bit of dimension. And then add that little sentiment. I just thought it was really cute where it says, enjoy your treats. Kind of perfect. So I adhered both of those to each of these little card front panels. And then these I decided to pop up again with some foam dimension. This time I'm using Simon's Big Mama foam tape, which is thinner than the Scotch foam tape, which I really like about that because it gives it that bit of dimension without being too thick. So I'm trimming that down with my um, Tim Holtz uh, mini snips. Highly recommend. I raved about those in my last haul video. Like life changing, need to have them. So I put the foam tape on the back of both these panels peeled off the backing and then I'm going to pop these onto each of the card bases. And then of course, have to finish the insides, can't leave the insides blank, or at least I can't anyway. So once I've got those popped on to do the insides, I'm going to stamp the big happy Halloween sentiment from the Boahaha. <laughs> I can't say that the name of that set without laughing. Um, inked that up with the Hot Mama ink. So I'm going to stamp that onto the inside of both of these cards using my stamp platform again. So ink that up, stamp that, and then I pulled out one more ink color. So I have the Clementine, the Hot Mama, and then I pulled in some Key Lime dye ink from Simon. And I'm just stamping stars from that same set on the inside to kind of mimic the little star stickers I used on the outside. 
And then they have these cute little banner stickers. So of course, had to add those just to, you know, really finish it off. And then I have pad and paper left over from the fronts of both of those cards. So to kind of tie everything together and to ground that sentiment, I'm just adding adhesive to the card base, applying the same pattern paper to the inside of the card, and then just using my paper trimmer to cut off the excess. And I'll save that excess. I always do because you end up using strips of pattern paper on future product projects and whatnot. So I do that with both cards. Just add my tape runner adhesive, stick down the paper, and then trim off the excess with my paper trimmer. And that's going to finish off these cards. So as always, I'll have links below the video to my blog post with links to all the supplies used. You can check that out below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs upping, and commenting on my videos. And I hope you all have a very happy Halloween. Bye!